What's up guys, Nathan here, welcome back to a new episode of how, oh no we're not doing that, we're doing make or break in one month and um, I want to say that thank you for the one comment that got on last video from Sean, uh, also known as Gimp on YouTube, I, I can't, he told me why he called himself that, I can't remember why, but suggesting a thing that, another challenge essentially that we should do in order to make the series just a little bit harder. And we've got to change team every time we get promoted in, or enter a new division, which I think is a really good idea actually. Um, I initially was a bit skeptical about it, but I, I then changed and said, oh that's a pretty good idea because you know we can use all different leagues and it will eventually become a bit of a challenge. Um, so yeah, next video we're playing with a new league and um, it will be, be pretty good. It'll probably be one of the main ones again, but uh, nonetheless, it will be it will be worthwhile to watch. Anyway, we are currently situated just teetering um, in the new division, Division Nine. We see I did a poll on Twitter, voted in it. Well done. Um, most people voted for the Columbus Crew badge, uh, the Copenhagen away kit, the um, and the kind of actually third kit, which I actually think are really nice kits. Um, I was surprised, I just put the Fenerbahce in there because it was quite hard on Foothead and it was sort of a nice colour that I was looking for and um, because I'm colour blind need those bright kits and those contrasting kits so that I don't get confused because um, I think last video um, there was one, there was a game which I didn't mention but they, the kits were really similar and I didn't really play, fare too well against it but as you'll notice the players we did sign, uh, we signed Conor Blanca for 1k which I thought was a bit ridiculous because he's a very good player. We've also got Bebe up front, who turned out to be one of the best strikers I think I've used in a very, very long time. Um, for some reason, he just seemed to put a lot of goals in this episode, and you'll see that just coming up now. Uh, we've still got the silver non-rare Yoda on the right-hand side with his star So we've still got Mascarell, who's doing so well. I didn't actually realise, actually, he has four-star skills. And um, currently in this game, we're playing Vezo at CDM because... Uh, Mari, I think that contract always very low on fitness, but nonetheless, we'll keep adding in fitness players um, every every time. Basically, we get um, we get the coin to do so. We'll be adding like uh, I guess it depends on how many coins we get, and we're adding 350 coin players, discard players. We could be adding you know, a new good addition to the team. Actually, a Bebe gets in and finishes it on his debut for the first goal. Very nice goal. Um, but this guy hasn't got a lot of chemistry in his team, so inevitably he was going to struggle against it. And Mascarell here doing a nice bit of work, getting in the box. I actually thought I'd overrun it. And it turns out that the save actually cost this guy a goal. A bit of the dramatic save saves the strap to Conor Panker as an easy, easy finish into the back of the net. And um, yeah, I see I'll be playing another over the top ball to Bebe, who's just going to absolutely go in on goal and finish it across the keeper. Um... Yeah, um, I usually messed up that finish with another, perhaps, player. If I didn't cut across like that and shoot across the goal, I'd probably gone for near post. Obviously, yeah, this, he brings his keeper out and Bebe finishes in the bottom corner for his hat-trick on his debut. And as you'll see, this is just, he's, he's just insane. Like, he's so much better than Sanab Sanab Sanabria, I think the guy was called. I don't think he's going to fit you for the team again in this episode, but... Because we just we just don't need him. We got Bebe up front. He doesn't even run out of fitness either, which is a bit strange. But yeah, this guy's got Payet, which you know his, his aim is obviously just to try and get the ball to Payet, get those shots off. Because he was shooting a, a ridiculous amount um, with Payet because he was in that cam position. You know, he, he was easy to get the ball to him, but he, he shot him over the bar most of the time. Nonetheless, Mascarell here shoots, saved by the keeper. Out to kind of play anchor. He's just gonna, he's just gonna sort of go in between that little gap between the defenders and um, end up passing across. To, I think Mascarell or someone else scored. It might have been, uh, might have been Borges, our new signing, the Costa Rican guy. I think played well at the World Cup a few years back, but it wouldn't be a game without Bebe scoring, would it? Um, another goal from him, and obviously, and he turns on a sixpence there. This, uh, this guy's all sliding all over the place now, and he fucking thumps it. So in the bottom corner, probably the goal of the series so far. There might be another one coming up in the episode that is pretty good, or oh, pretty up there to rival it maybe. And you'll see here, we win a free kick. I think I wait. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. I've never scored. I'm terrible at free kicks. 
I've never scored one of these. You know, you drive it around the wall and it finds the bottom the corner, can't pay anchor, take a bow. The first one of those I've ever scored. And um, it was a pretty nice one as well. It sort of went right in the corner. You know, sometimes when you hit it so hard, the keeper actually spoons it up into the roof of the net. That's what I've, I've ever conceded like that before. And um, yeah, it was a real nice one because the keeper got nowhere near it. Anyway, Yoda here on the ball, out on the wing. It's 6 0 now, which is completely humiliating this guy. Into Montoya, who's going to shoot across goal and going to score. Score a seventh goal. Pretty nice, you know, pretty good way to start off um, the early, early rounds of Division 10. Oh, Division 9, sorry. And um, as you see, it, the game winds up to a close at 7 0 to Tetley on tour. I didn't really explain the team name, it's sort of a weird fucking sophisticated joke we made up on away days on um, Saturdays when we travel fucking the length of the country <laughs> and we have nothing better to talk about um, I couldn't put tea bags on tour for some reason which is actually name we, we, um, we say but um, because it's censored obviously because tea bagging is notorious like humiliation tactic in games but it's still a bit pointless censoring it but yeah it's a really stupid phrase we came up with um, I, I can't remember the life of me where the word teabag became so funny, but um, you have to ask Jack underscore Evans on Twitter for that one, or tweet at him um, if you've got a spare minute. He'll explain the situation. Maybe a bit confused, but never, nevertheless, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Anyway, this game you take one the lead, kind of playing anchor running in the box, and um, doesn't really stand a chance, does he? That little movement to get inside to get the angle, I think um, he. Did a bit of a mistake there because I could never have shot from there. It near post, the keeper would have saved it. And um, if he'd brought his keeper out, I would never have had that angle. And you know, he made a mistake. But he quit a 2 0. He's another one of those sad, sad, sad people who don't see the point in fighting for a game at all. As I said, I've seen crazy comebacks in games. I've been I've been 6 0 up in games. I've lost 7 6. I lost this year. I lost. I was 5 1 up in the draft, which. You know, the just the draft. You spoke, and it was in the second half as well. But you can easily go on ultra defensive, and um, sit back and relax. But I managed to lose six five, also by sitting back on ultra defensive. So it didn't really work for me. And I've also come back from five nil down to win six five, um, over a course of a half of a game. And I don't really see the point in quitting. I learned in FIFA twelve as a Phoenix. I mentioned in the last video that um, no point in quitting because you don't get any coins and you're not going to progress. You're just going to get even 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 worse I guess um, I remember in FIFA 12 there was a point where I had to delete my club because I couldn't afford to play any more games I discarded, I used to open bronze packs to get players because I was a moron and I actually ran out of coins to the point where I had about 15 players that were actually available to play so I had no choice but to delete my club <laughs> it was it was um, pretty stupid and as I sold my players um, which they were all like 50 rated bronzes they would never have sold so um, yeah, we um, we take a we take a, a bit of a, a leaf out of my book there, but it's impossible now because you have the forty-five contracted players in your club, unless you're some sort of really really weird um, determined player to keep trying to win a game and quitting two 0 and you're never going to run out of contracts. But we're coming against this guy and he has pilot as well. Takes a lead, very very nice goal. Um, if I do say so myself, um, but pre pretty poor defending, if you ask me. Um, I, I sort of messed up with my positioning of my players to the point where um, I, I was like switching in between the two, not really getting a tackle in. He said I didn't take the shot, but we won penalty. Pretty lucky to be honest. If I showed him a bit more of a ball, then he probably would have scored. Um, but uh, no, he probably would have tackled me. Sorry, successfully. And uh, Searchy scores on his debut, and um, then, and we take get back in the game, and that was all we really needed to go on and um, sort of boss this game. And I see a nice cross, puts it in, and heads it far far post. I think it was um, kind of like or Borges again. I can't really remember who scored that, but I just see uh, Montoya getting in and um, passing it off to Borges, and that is a really nice cross for some reason. I don't know why. Why, why, why that was allowed to happen? But Bebe gets in, scores, and we're all, we're all, we're all um, set for the win here. But he, once again, he replies, Komen, Payet, and that was a really nice shot. Then he got sort of the goal we, we scored quite a few in this episode, where the keeper saves it and it just comes straight out to a player who's free. 
and um, <laughs> and and um, he um, yeah he scores. So we're we're, we're at four two, um, and um, nonetheless, I was just my dad coming in telling me he's taking the dog out. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in there. That's funny. Um, but Tono here wraps up the game, wraps up the episode actually with 5 2. And um, we, the, the win never looked in danger. But I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all for the next video.